been a while. I've been sick. Like a lot sick. Because of allergies. But I'm good enough now. Let's play this cat. This is called Boris. I played it once and I don't remember Jack. So, I guess it means I'm starting a new game. It's time to be a cowboy. Normal, because I'm probably gonna be terrible at this game. Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Why is the audio getting staticky? Uh, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. I, I should recognize some of these voices. I don't know the name of the voice actors, well, but I've heard them in other games. It would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. About a whiskey. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true. Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? Is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed it. Uh, it was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped Bush. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinkin' Springs. Jeez, that's some sensitivity. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. I might have to look. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. Let's hope. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. Where are these? Oh, I have skill points? Okay. Borderlands Cowboy Edition. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. What the hell? Shoot that some bitch! Wow, that was quick. Let's work on Desperado. Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. I decided to help Billy and the boys out of it. So that's just what I did. Hey, we have one behind you. Already? God damn. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand at Lake Hotel. I'm not good at this. Garrett's men were running around like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. Oh. Ow. I am still just one of them not the in it. I'm like a game journalist. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. Oh, 
Come on, Luke, now. Leave him to me. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Trying to make a living. But that ain't much of a living, boy. But I'd like to see someone guess me where that's from. Then, I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We got we'll you. cover you! Drive me with you, idiots! Truth be told, Stand things weren't window. much better behind the house. Watch your play! <laughs> I cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with I'm a seemingly endless... Me. And like that, you I was inside. Dead, None the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave. <laughs> you know, as a kid, there was this restaurant called Dirty Dave's. Still open. Had great pizza. In an arcade. And upstairs, I found that? Billy and Charlie hey, Bolton. Like Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window. Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. More like business associates. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Shit. So rusty when you play other games. I'm telling you, Garrett's mode. I'm playing uh, Phoenix, right? Is it Gods and Mortals or whatever? Fuck. Phoenix, Gods and Monsters or something like that. Oh, Cause I, I had it, I got a PS5 because it's on sale, but Dude, I have it on Switch as well, but I haven't touched my Switch in like almost two years now, so might as well. But hey, it's fun. I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them around back. I'll draw their attention. Many would have fled in this fight. Ow, ow, ow. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack, he's just joshing with you. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, man. Now, where was I? You were heading for the barn. Gotta cut you a new one! Oh. Killing in style. Oh, I'm in a wagon. I didn't even notice. I know there's like one more around here. Sounds like Gary hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. Max. This is where I'm going to do. No, I wouldn't go far as handsome, but okay.
killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. Okay, I think I know what's gonna happen. He's gonna knock me out. He stepped inside and bam! Yep. Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? And boy, that was just the beginning. Go for Nini. It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. He was with John Kinney's gang. Let me... And they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulator. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Mom, shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. <laughs> what the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape, too. Yeah, Billy. Thank you, Bill. My first order of business was finding a firearm. Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean-ass shotgun. What a thing of beauty. I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. Anybody see Billy? Son of a bitch shot Jim Bell! Hell yeah. That scattered gun was like a double barrel howitzer. Oh, shit. It could blow a man clear off his feet. You hardly had to aim the damn thing. Yeah. Everything's kind of starting to blend in. That hurt my eyesight's just terrible. Okay, I don't have a rifle yet. Yeah. I had to jump from roof to roof like a damn alley cat. I followed the planks where I could, but some of that wood was slippery as hell. The whole town was up in arms. And suddenly, there's a future. Yeah, let's fuck to get the fuck out of here before shooting. It's the solution. But hell, if they weren't all waiting for me. She. Apparently, some of them thought I was Billy. I'm not. Oh, oh fucker. Says I'm on him. He's in town somewhere. See, me and the kid shared a certain similarity in build and color. I was just glad I had Deputy Bob's mean ass shotgun. Ow. Where are they? Come out from behind there. They have off me? Where the Oh, yeah, he is above me. Fuck you. I knew I needed to find a horse. Though I never did have a great fondness for those four-legged grass eaters. Smelly, sweaty, ungrateful beasts. We prize them too high, if you ask me. I'm stupid. Oh, 
jackass. What's this? Secret? <laughs> That's cool. It's heck in a handbasket. Watch your tongue. What's happening? So I could be a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. Jackass. I knew if I made it out of there in one piece, no one would put a price on my head. Because everybody in Lincoln would be dead? No. Because they all thought I was Billy. And all that blame would fall on him. Meanwhile, cute Deputy Bob Bollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. <laughs> Shoot me your cringe. How many shuckers are quicker, dude? Taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob. I said, I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. So we stood there I'm gonna in the middle get of the my street. ass kicked in this dual eyeball to eyeball. I suck at these. Uh, Fuck! Told you I'd die first. Terrible shit. I yes. killed him in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. Well, Lincoln got a might depopulate that day. That Garrett gunned down Billy three months later, so his escape was all for naught anyway. 